name of Patch lying dead in front of a bank in Abilene. I don't remember any talk about Interesting facts about famous people. Top 10 Western movies of the 50s. Okay, I know. I'm opening up a can of cats here, but that's what I do. Remember, we are here to celebrate the Western genre. I'm focusing on the 50s today, and yes, I'm taking results from rating sites. I will, however, add my own comments as to what I like and don't as my personal input, as and when. I'm sure you will let me know what you think in the comments as well. Let's have some fun. If you like this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Apologies, as always, for any mispronunciation of names. The Wonderful Country, 1959. An honourable drifter, constantly on the run, finds his enemies closing in around him. Both Henry Fonda and Gregory Peck were first approached to star, but turned down the role. When Robert Mitchum came on board, he also served as producer. Quote from Helen Cotton. What a pity then that life is what we do and not just what we feel. My input. I feel this movie was trying hard, but a bit out of balance with the consistency of the cast. Director Robert Parrish. Stars Robert Mitchum, Julie London, Gary Merrill, Albert Decker. Cowboy, 1958. An idealistic tenderfoot Chicago hotel clerk is taken on a cattle drive to Mexico by famous trail boss Tom Reese, but discovers that cowboy life isn't what he expected. Lemon brings another dimension to this movie. Overall, I like it and worthy of a spot here. Director Delma Daves. Stars Glenn Ford, Jack Lemon, Anna Cashvi, Brian Don Levy. The Last Hunt, 1956. In 1883 South Dakota, two buffalo hunters start a personal feud over a captured squaw and a standoff with the Dakota raiding party over some stolen horses. A good film on a subject that's not often dealt with in westerns. Director Richard Brooks stars Robert Taylor, Stuart Granger, Lloyd Nolan, Deborah Paget. Man of the West, 1958. A reformed outlaw becomes stranded after an aborted train robbery with two other passengers and is forced to rejoin his old outlaw band. I feel this one was left a bit open-ended at the end. Otherwise, I like this one. Director, Anthony Mann. Stars, Gary Cooper, Julie London, Lee J. Cobb, Arthur O'Connell. The Naked Spur, 1953. A bounty hunter trying to bring a murderer to justice is forced to accept the help of two less than trustworthy strangers. Robert Ryan seems to be trying to make this his film. Director Anthony Mann stars James Stewart, Janet Leigh, Robert Ryan, Ralph Meeker. The Tall T, 1957. An independent former ranch foreman is kidnapped, along with an heiress, who is being held for ransom by a trio of ruthless outlaws. What can I say? This one speaks for itself. Great movie. Yes. Director, Bud Bodicher. Stars, Randolph Scott, Richard Boone, Maureen O'Sullivan, Arthur Honeycutt. Three Ten to Yuma, 1957. Broke small-time rancher, Dan Evans is hired by the stagecoach company to put big time captured outlaw leader Ben Wade on the 310 train to Yuma, but Wade's gang tries to free him. This film grabs you from the beginning and pulls you all the way through. Always one of my favourites. Director Delma Daves. Stars Glenn Ford, Van Heflin, Felicia Farr, Leora Dana. The Gunfighter, 1950. Notorious gunfighter Jimmy Ringo rides into town to find his true love, who doesn't want to see him. He hasn't come looking for trouble, but trouble finds him around every corner. Peck, 
as an anti-hero doesn't get better than this one. Director, Henry King, stars Gregory Peck, Helen Westcott, Millard Mitchell, Jean Parker. The Big Country, 1958. A New England sea captain in the 1880s arrives at his fiancée's sprawling Texas ranch where he becomes embroiled in a feud between two families over a valuable patch of land. An epic that still stands on its own. The music, cast and story are first class. Director William Waller. Stars Gregory Peck, Gene Simmons, Carol Baker, Charlton Heston. Now what was the point of your story? High Noon, 1952. A town marshal, despite the disagreements of his newlywed bride and the townspeople around him, must face a gang of deadly killers alone at high noon when the gang leader, an outlaw Will you come sent down up to that years ago, with me? arrives on the noon train. A controversial story at the time. Those who have seen it seem to love or hate this one. Those less kind find Cooper a bit stiff. Director Fred Zimmerman. Stars Gary Cooper. Grace Kelly, Thomas Mitchell, Lloyd Bridges, and Katie Gerardo. Just to wrap up, this is a list of ten. I can mention some others like Shane, Vera Cruz, The Man from Laramie, Ride Lonesome, Rio Bravo, and more. Perhaps the next video on this theme. I will, however, give a special mention to The Searchers arguably the best western ever made. There's something special about the John Wayne and John Ford collaboration, with great support from the likes of Harry Carey Jr. and Ward Bond. I just wanted to end on a high note. I'm not a film critic, just a fan like you. My goal is to celebrate and remember this great genre of film. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.